At dawn, fishermen on Australia's west coast head out to sea for the day's catch. Fishing is a centuries-old industry here and part of the region's cultural identity. These brothers are part of a fishery that was the first in the world to be labelled as sustainable. That's a breeder, so she goes back over. We don't keep uh, females that are in spawn or females that are about to lay their eggs. And uh, we also got a minimum size. This is Mr Mandolia's 47th year as a professional lobster fisherman and he says attitudes have changed for the better. Instead of fishing until the supply of lobsters run dry like many used to, they now stick to a specific sustainable plan to ensure the industry's survival. And we're on a quota which we, uh, we, only, we only take a certain amount of craze every year. And, that's, uh, and that keeps us pretty well sustainable. It's the fishermen that want it want to be sustainable because it's our livelihood. It's a strategy that other fisheries across the country are now trying to take on board. Creating substance behind a sustainable image begins out here on the water and the rock lobster fishermen on this boat follow some of the most strictest protocols in the world. How much bait and fuel are used is closely monitored and there are yearly size and catch limits put in place. The lobster are also caught in these pots. Now compared to bottom trawling which involves using a large net that drags across the sea floor, pot fishing has less impact on the marine environment and lowers the chances of other species being trapped unintentionally. The system isn't perfect. One small shark was trapped in a crate. It was thrown back alive straight away. The team here works for the Western Rock Lobster Council, which this year celebrated its fifth Marine Stewardship Council accreditation. MSC is a world-renowned sustainability certification program that ensures fisheries are maintaining best practice when it comes to the environment. That certification has recently been scrutinised and its credibility questioned. But the CEO of Western Rock Lobster says it's a meticulous process that holds them to account. We actually pay a, a fair bit of money each year to undertake audits, so we get an independent auditor to come in and assess the fishery. It's particularly onerous. We invest in it and work in uh, collaboration with the government to make sure that the resource is sustainably managed. Fish heads like this need to be sourced from a fishery deemed sustainable. And what would otherwise be thrown away is now used as bait in lobster crates. According to a study by the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation, the Australian fishing industry is estimated to produce more than 20,000 tonnes of seafood processing waste every year. The country still has a long way to go and it takes a whole industry effort to make a difference. But consumers are now starting to become more conscious too. Good Fish is Australia's independent guide to the sustainability of seafood found in supermarkets, restaurants and fish and chip shops. People can type in a place or company and see a rating that ranges from red to green. Western Rock Lobster is labelled as one of the best. We want consumers to ask three questions when they're buying their seafood. We want to know what species is it, how is it caught or farmed and where is it from. The main thing is obviously to drive consumers towards sustainable seafood, drive consumers away from unsustainable seafood so that market demand creates change. It's companies like these that are trying to maintain the country's clean green image and ensure there's enough seafood to keep fishermen on the water for decades to come. Danielle Robertson, CNA, Perth.